ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय धर्म्यमी Translation If, however, you do not fight this religious war, then you will certainly incur sins for neglecting your duties and thus lose your reputation as a fighter. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> religious fight. Just like even nowadays also, if the soldier disobeys the order of the commander, uh, that soldier is shut down by martial law. Because to disobey the order of the commander is uh, sinful. Uh, so <coughs> Krishna says Atha Chitam Imang Dharmam Sangramang Nakrishis. This fight is not ordinary fight. It is not the politician's uh, fight. <coughs> For the sake of religion, uh, you must fight. And if you do not, then sadharma, you are a chhatriya, not only chhatriya, you are a very well-known fighter, you have been recognized by so many demigods. Uh, Arjun got the Pasupat astra uh, to test Arjun's fighting capacity. Sometimes uh, uh, <coughs> Lord Shiva and Arjun was hunting in the forest. So Lord Shiva also as a hunter, he appeared before him. And when a boar was killed by hunting, Lord Shiva claimed that I have done this killing. Uh, Arjun said, no, I have done this. So there was controversy. Who will claim that hunt, hunt, I am this killed animal? So Arjun was claiming and Lord Shiva as a hunter, he was also claiming. Then there was fight between Lord Shiva and Arjun. The so Lord Shiva was defeated. So. He then disclosed his identity that I am very much pleased that you are such a nice fighter. So he presented him one arrow which is called Pasupat Astra. Similarly, he sometimes fought with Indra. Uh, he gave him uh, some Astra weapon. Uh, this was the system that is, Khatriya is presented with a kind of weapon. Uh, 
the brahmana is presented with vedas and so far vaishyas and shudras are concerned they are not very important so arjuna was recognized by lord shiva by king indra many others also so krishna says that you have got recognition from big personalities so if you don't fight then not only you should be irreligious but also you lose your reputation tata sadanmang kirtincha hitya papam avapsus papam means sin or sinful reaction so it has to be judged when sometimes fighting is papam means sinful activity and sometimes fighting is punnam pious activities it requires the time circumstances on what ground the fighting was going on uh, on whose order the fighting was going on these are to be studied uh, so violence and non violence uh, our great leader a uh, leader mahatma gandhi he wanted to prove from bhagavad gita non violence uh, he started the non violence movement and he wanted to support everyone takes advantage of bhagavad gita and tries to support his view uh, on the strength of bhagavad gita therefore you'll find so many interpretations everyone wants to utilize there are more than 600 publication commentaries on bhagavad gita uh, one doctor rele in bombay he has interpreted bhagavad gita as talks between a physician and a patient so these things are going on <coughs> but that is not bhagavad gita that is namnad balad jasai papa buddhi nam apara ten kinds of offenses this is offense just like namnad balad jasai papa buddhi we say the shastra says that by chanting hari krishna mantra you become clean of your sinful activities that's a fact but if somebody thinks that i shall go on committing sinful activities and chant hari krishna mantra so it will be adjusted neutralized Uh, this is the most sinful activity namnad bala by the strength of chanting committing sin uh, so similarly on the strength of bhagavad gita if one wants to pray with foolish philosophy that is a great offense uh, that is a great offense uh, therefore Uh, Bhagavad Gita cannot be interpreted by foolish commentators. Uh, it must be studied uh, through the parampara system, acharya upasana. One must worship the acharya and learn from him what is Bhagavad Gita. Acharya man purusha veda. This is the Vedic injunction. who knows things as they are a charjavan purusha one who is under the guidance of a charja so you won't find this foolish non violence theory from any a charja many a charjas have commented on bhagavad gita the ramanu charja madhya charja even shankara charja 
but never say that Bhagavad Gita is proof of non-violence. Non-violence is good, but when there is uh, dharma yuddha, righteous fighting, there is no question of non-violence. Violence is approved. Uh, therefore, Krishna says that tatasa dharma unkirti will uh, by neglecting your sadharma, your professional or occupational duty, uh, and minimizing the uh, importance of your recognition, kīrti, kīrti jasya sadhīvati. Anyone who is reputed for his good activities, he lives forever. Kīrti jasya sadhīvati. Bhaja sadhu samāgamam, tajodujjana saṅsadgam bhaja sadhu samāgamam. The Chanak Pandita also says, Kīrti is who lives forever, one who has got reputation for his, one who is famous for his good activities. So don't try to lose your reputation. Uh, you are a great fighter, recognized by so many authorities, and uh, if you don't fight, uh, then people will say, now nah, Arjun is finished. Uh, he cannot anymore fight. So don't lose this reputation. Don't be deviated from your occupational duty as a Kshatriya. If you do all these things, then papam avapsasi. You don't think that you will be a pious. Well, on the other hand, he will become impious. Papam abhavsas. Next verse. Akhiyatim, Akhiyatim, Chapi, Chapi, Bhutani, Bhutani, Katayashyanti, Katayashyanti, Te, Te, Aviyam, Aviyam, Sambhavitasya, Sambhavitasya, Cha, Akhiyatim-chāpi-pūtāni <laughs> People will always speak of your infamy, and for one who has been honored, dishonor is worse than death. Akhitim chavi bhutani kothai shanti te abhayam sambhavita sa chakhitim maranada dirichyati sambhavita sa one who is very reputed famous man, uh, if he does something wrong, then it was better to die before such a infamy is grown. This is advice. Arjuna is famous as a great fighter. Not only that, he is personal friend of Krishna, so much so that Krishna has agreed to become his chariot driver. Just try to understand what is his position. Uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, who is worshipped by Lord Brahma, Govinda Mahadi Purusam Tamaham Bhajani, he has agreed to drive the chariot of Arjun on accounts of friendship. Now we have to imagine how much famous he is. Everyone says, oh, Krishna is, is so intimate friend that he has agreed to drive his chariot. This is your reputation 
all over the world. Eh? So sambhavitasya chakriti. And if you don't fight now, what people will say? Eh? Better you die. Eh? Krishna is advising that instead of becoming a very good man, non-violent, you lay down your life. That is my advice. You die. I shall see that you have died, and I will be very much pleased. Oh, this is Krishna's advice. How much he has become, uh, I would say, dissatisfied with the decision of our John. Uh, Krishna, I am not going to fight this battle. Uh, so the Krishna's last advice is, that if you don't fight, better you die before him, I shall be very much pleased. Then? Vayat, Vrnat, Uparatam, Mangsyante, Vam, Vam, Maharata, Yesham, Yesham, Yasyasi, Yasyasi, Lakhavam, Bahumato, Translation The great generals who have highly esteemed your name and fame will think that you have left the battlefield out of fear only, and thus they will consider you a coward. Uh, this spirit of Kshatriya was prevalent even, say, 300 years ago in India. Uh, there was a king, Jashavanta Singh. Uh, he was the commander-in-chief of Emperor Aurangzeb. So, in one fight, uh, he was defeated and came back to his home. So his wife heard that my husband has been defeated, he's coming back home. So he asked the caretaker to close the door of the palace. So when Jashavanta Singh came there, uh, he saw that the, his palace door is closed. Then he sent message to the queen that why you have closed the door, I have come home. Uh, so messenger came and informed that the king has come. So he is asking to open the door. The queen replied, who is king? Uh, Jasamanda Singh? No, no. Jasamanda Singh cannot come uh, being defeated. Uh, Jasamanda Singh, either he conquers the battle or he lays down his body there, dead. So the man who has come, he must be some, somebody pretender. He is not. King Jasamanta Singh. So she refused to open the door. Ah, this is the spirit of Khatriya spirit. Ah. Ah. 
So here also the same thing, five thousand years also ago. Uh, that Krishna says that you are so reputed a fighter, and if you stop fighting, people will not consider, especially other commander in chiefs like Dronacharya, Bhishma, Karna, they are Maharathas. Maharatha means one uh, fighter who can uh, combat with thousands of men alone. He is called Maharatha. As nowadays the titles are captain, commander, commander in chief. Uh, similarly, formally, Maharatha, Utiratha, were well, the title given to these soldiers, fighters. So Maharatha, the, uh, the greatest commanders. So Krishna said that you are recognized one of the Maharathas. So what the other Maharathas will think of you, they will not consider that out of compassion you did not fight. They will think that out of fear you have left the battlefield. Uh, they will take the opposite. Bhayad uh, Puratam. Out of fear you have stopped fighting. Mangsanti uh, Tanga Maharatha. So now you are recognized as one of the Maharatha. Jisang Chatang Bhumako. You are known by. Uh, various uh, I mean, commander in chiefs uh, in their eyes uh, you will be considered as degraded why should you accept better fight and die uh, that's all right. thank you